पापा मैं उड़ना चाहता हूँ दौड़ना चाहता हूँ गिरना भी चाहता हूँ और स्कूल के बाद साहिल की तरह एक साल रुकना भी चाहता हूँ हाथ जोड़ के आपसे गुजारिश करता हूँ मेरे बेटे का फ्यूचर बर्बाद मत कीजिए वेल कंग्रेचुलेशन आप अकेले नहीं हैं। द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु वांट्स टू टेक अ ईयर ऑफ फ्रॉम अकेडमिक्स जिसे हम गैप ईयर भी बोलते हैं द नंबर हैज बीन इंक्रीजिंग स्पेशली आफ्टर द पैंडमिक अच्छा ये जो कॉन्सेप्ट है गैप ईयर का ये इंडिया में पॉपुलर नहीं है बट अब्रॉड ये कॉन्सेप्ट बहुत ही कॉमन है लिटरली वहाँ पे गैप ईयर प्रोग्राम एंड गैप ईयर स्कॉलरशिप होती है ताकि स्टूडेंट्स को एनकरेज किया जाए टू एक्सप्लोर देर इंटरेस्ट बिफोर दे चूज देयर करियर पार्ट एंड बहुत फेमस यूनिवर्सिटीज लाइक हार्वर्ड ये यूनिवर्सिटीज भी ये गैप ईयर प्रोग्राम ऑफर करती है ओके बट वाई डू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल कॉल इट अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम देन अरे तू ड्रॉप क्यों कर रहा है फेल हो गया क्या ब्रो नो बडी वुड वॉन्ट टू हायर यू इफ यू आर जॉबलेस फॉर अयर ब्रो करियर शुरुआत होने से पहले रिटायरमेंट के सपने बस यार बस हो गया आज का आई एम श्योर यूर क्वाइट फेमिलियर विद ऑल दिस स्टाफ बिकॉज द वर्ल्ड गैप यूर साउंड प्रॉब्लमैटिक इन इट सेल्फ टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल लेट अलोन द होल कॉन्सेप्ट बट आर दे रीजनेबल क्या आपको गैप ईयर लेना चाहिए या नहीं लेना चाहिए gap year might be taken after school and before college where most of the students prepare for these competitive exams like JEE or NEET another type might be who wants to take a drop so that they can take another degree after studying or maybe working for few years already will take gaps between their work life also to reboot or refresh their head spaces or in not so good situation or to leave a toxic job or to switch from one job to another and the most interesting thing is people also take gaps to travel and to figure out their interests and explore themselves tujhe kya pata ki alag alag deshon mein rehne ka nasha kya hota hai should you take a gap year now the dilemma boils down to one thing Is it worth taking a gap for one or two years, or maybe for few months when everyone else is moving forward? Abba nahi manenge. Well, as long as you're not wasting your time, it can be worth it. Let me put it this way: How long do you think you will live? Me, nahi manega. The average life expectancy of a human is around 70 to 75 years. Let's assume each year is one rupee coin. That means you have 70 rupees in your pocket. If I told you you can secure 68 of your coins or maybe enhance their value by just spending one or two coin, would you do that? Of course you would, right? Because anybody would. The drop years that you are concerned of here is just two to three percent of your life. We are often conflicted when we take these decisions because we overvalue the span of one year time and we undervalue the impact that it can have on our lives. Sahi baat hai. Is this kind because of our conditioning as well? We have been conditioned to achieve one milestone after another to be big in life. We are considered as successful till the time we keep running. The race. Remember, life is a race. In these circumstances, you have to abstract yourself from such situations. You have to not think about log kya kahenge if you really want it. Because people, they don't pay your bill, they don't feed you, they really don't care if you like your job or not. It's you who cares. And I totally understand that in an Indian setup, it is very difficult to make your parents understand this. But you need to show them a bigger picture as well. Ah, ba, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Even if you are in the middle of your degree and if you are wondering if it's a good decision to take a drop then tell yourself this that being somewhere is not better than being nowhere if that somewhere doesn't suit you and your needs sahi pakde hain don't feel guilty for making wrong decisions initially because nobody knows what they want to do at the age of 18 now that you know what you want to do it's still a step towards right direction
क्या बात बोली है ना टेकिंग अयर ऑफ टू लर्न न्यू स्किल्स ट्राइंग इंटर्नशिप एंड जॉब में टीच यू इवन मोर देन वॉट यू लर्न इन कॉलेज एंड मीन वाई यू मे इवन रियलाइज वॉट यू एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू डू एंड देन से आई रियली लव माई जॉब द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पोर्शन ऑफ पीपल वॉन्टिंग टू टेक अ गैप इज द पीपल हु आर डूइंग जॉब because they are the most confused ones they are the people who keep thinking like what if i face a financial crunch what if my next employer questions my career gap what if nobody hires me again no god for that first question save that amount of money you need to live a year of a frugal life and only then take a gap year you don't need to suddenly decide one day that oh you're unhappy with the job and you give a resignation letter the next morning be practical take time off once you have finances in the place and regarding career gaps do you know that aapke employers bhi janna chahte hain ki aapne actually is career gap mein kiya kya kya aapne is period ko productively utilize kiya ki nahi whether did you spend your time in upskilling and making your portfolio stronger they won't see your lack of credibility in these number of years on which you were on a break think about the multiple skills that you will learn in that year think about the multiple career options that will open in front of you won't you be in a better position as compared to what you were in oh hell yeah in a nutshell all type of people who opt for gap year need some time to redirect their lives so take it as a transitioning period rather than taking it as a break year as master ogwe says your mind is like water if it is agitated it becomes difficult to see so once you allow it to settle answers will become clear a gap year is something that allows your mind to settle and see those clear answers but if you feel that merely taking a gap year is going to solve all your problem then that's not the case you have to utilize this time productively you have to read books pursue your hobbies learn some new skills get some new experiences learn about some new life skills like investing etc do some content creation it can be audio podcasts it can be videos it can be blogs etc There is so much productive to do. You cannot afford to waste this valuable time that you have gifted yourself. Your goals and focus should be absolutely clear. Firstly, if you are going to do all of this, the psychological barriers regarding what will people or our employers or our friends will think are not going to define our life. When you see any successful person, can you tell how many times did that person fail? Same goes for you. At the end of the day, it's all about what you want to be in life, and if what you are doing currently will take you there. If not, you got to do something about it. हाँ भाई हाँ. And that's all for today. I hope it all made sense. I hope that you have a clearer picture now. If yes, do not forget to press that subscribe button. See you for the next time. Bye bye.